Hello everybody, so I got a little package in a wrapping material came from uh, or it was mailed in China Post, so if I turn on my overhead cam So as you can see, there's a boom, and that's my camera, or my overhead cam, so... Let's get going on this, actually, so... And this is one of those, uh, items that you don't see a lot of market for, too, so... So let's see here. Well, let's see how they wrapped it. I know what it is, so... One of those items that I've been wanting for some time. Just, uh, metal. There we go. They sure did bubble wrap it. <laughs> Come on, hell. Yeah, we go. Kind of whoopee. Yeah. So, this is a cinematic uh, focus controller. There is not many USB uh, focus controller uh, on the market as we speak at the moment. Um, and you see a lot of uh, uh, USB controller uh, Mostly, well, actually, you see a lot for the Canon sizing, not very many for the Nikon, uh, Nikon, so. Uh, box got a little uh, destroyed in the post, so let's see what we get in the box. So, like I said, there are all other companies do make, um, USB controller. So, mostly, if you're familiar with between, um... Canon. Canon does have a way to ha uh, have you, uh, there, there's many ways to control your camera through your PC uh, or through your tablet. Um, this one is more of a physical interface. So, there we go. As you can see, there was like, excuse me if I have to go up, there we go, there we go, okay. So as you can see, there was, each of these buttons does have multiple uh, control of it, so we get the, the normal uh, USB connection, I can't think it's on my head.
Now, this particular one, I like how this particular one is, um, more round uh, when I pour it out of the box. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's a more of a manual. I'll give you a, a tin can. I have it wrapped up. Tell you what, this bean that's got imported, it's got that strong smell to it. Okay, there we go. Can we get, get out? Oh yeah, there it is. To Allen Key. This is mostly for... So these, some of these USB controller, um, you have to, they have to, um, they don't get power, they, they have their own power source. So... There we go, okay. This USB controller, um, does have the same functionality as if you ever, if you ever use, um, Sony or Nikon, uh, remote software on, um, if you ever use it, you'll be more familiar with this, so... Um... Actually, let's see, let's add it back, see if it's... Um... Let's see if it needs... Uh, let's see what kind of power source... Power source it does need. I do definitely like this, so... Oh, okay. They have a photo of it should come with a, um, a clamp. So, it is handy to use, uh, USB interface because mechanical stuff, you have to add mounting hardware to your lens, you have to get a mounting weld or the, the mechanical focus and all that stuff. Okay. So it does require, uh, double A, uh, double A batteries, so, I do definitely need to open no warranty. Well, you have to add batteries, I don't know what the heck to saying by open no warranty, but okay. But, uh... Yeah, folk, the, this wheel, it's kind of, it's not loose, but, it has some stiffness, uh, to it, so, actually, what I'm gonna do real quick. So, I didn't find any good disposal battery, and plus, Getting the disposal battery in and out of this this uh, cinematic out uh, out of focus uh, focus controller it's kind of a bell. I end up having to grab a tool to uh, pry it. So this is getting uh, powered off of a USB pack. So um, as you can see, it is on. It's on, when you turn on, it's on green, so it's mostly related to focus. Uh, so when you change it to blue, so you have to hold two buttons, so you have to go to 8 to 5 to do that. So if I go that, there we go. So blue, and blue is mostly to the one side, and the other side will now change, it's only that one. 
slide that change uh, function to uh, to your exposure, your shuttle, your aperture, and ISO. So and that's what these are labeled for. So it's uh, control then for you punch and zoom, or you func uh, you focus assist zoom. Um, this side will control that too when you do uh when you do focus. So, um, so if I hit the record, uh, so I'm gonna do is hit that. Actually, see here. I'm gonna change back to normal. Back to focus. There we go. And if I hit record as you can see there's a light uh which this light will let you know before you record it will let you know which mood you're on uh so there was uh green blue and uh purple let you know which mode then when you hit the uh when you're doing a recording it will let you know that is recording so um, <laughs> so it does, same way as camera, when you hit record, that way it start the countdown timer, so I can, so I can change that, as you can see, so I can use these two, if I, Then I do have one button right there that will, uh... Whoop. <laughs> there we go. So now I, this button will change the, um, the speed of this too, so... Uh, this one at the number four is... What the heck is this? That's the autofocus. And that's where it's, um, that's where it does the, uh, 1x, uh, then the 5x. So, um, every time I mess with this one, it does kind of limit me to a certain focus. So, that's the thing about that, too. So, I guess you can hold that, focus on this one. So, when you do the in and out focus, it will, you're not going to overshoot. So, that's, that's the only thing I do find, um, that's the only thing I find. So, um, I have not figured out how to do the, how I can change the uh, exposure on it yet. Um, so every time... Fight. I'm gonna start recording, so... Uh, the knockout. So, there we go. That's unpo- uh, turn off. Unplug it. Be not- Be not the case. Demonstrate. Well, not demonstrate, let's show you. So... When you do it, you hold these two, and it will change to... Um... Blue. Which blue will indicate for this side, it will let you know, hey, you may be changing, uh, your picture setting. So, or change your, your shuttle, uh, your aperture, and your exposure, your three element to change. So, it will let you know. But when I try to do that, I have not figured out how to, uh... I have not, well, I do hit that, I get into pull mode, and, um, I'm hitting them, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly or not, so, uh, or I'm not sure if this is doing the prop, or, or I'm not sure if my camera has been a Canon, so, or my camera, or my Canon not listening to me, so, um, another thing too, uh, when you do connect, before I forget about this too, 
It just only works with the with the uh, some of the old or series of cameras. Because I tried to plug into my new Canon, which my new Canon body is a 7070D, so it, it works with the, um, let's see here, only works with three of the T series, so it only works with the two series of the TI series, so it'll be the only two of the series. So you got only one non-TI series walks. Uh, then... So it will walk with the, the more camera, so it only walks with... So I'm reading the box, um, as you can see right there. So I'm pretty sure most of you probably seen it. But it does only work with some of the d -Mark series. Actually, only three of them. So this is this one doesn't have the uh, wider range. Um, unlike the gimbals, like the G the DJI I uh, gimbal, those gimbals seem like do work with some of the newer Canon. So. Um, don't know what program or I don't know what software they're using, but whatever the software they're using seem like it only works with some of the older series of cameras, so... And when I do plug into my new camera body, the 7070D, um... Uh, my camera, my new camera body thinks that's talking to a PC, so... So that's the thing you need to watch out for when you do this stuff, so... Uh, let's see here, anything else? Okay. Alright. So... <clears throat> talk about that, I did demonstrate that... You c these are multiple function uh, batteries, so um, so it's out of the gate. It's it's not perfect way out bat way out the way out the way out the gate yet. It's a little bit unsure that if it does work or not. And this is very limited to a certain amount of camera body. When you do buy this uh, focus wheel or two, so um, and I think with a USB controller, it might be, or I'm not sure if it if it is only just to limit them out or not. Uh, so so it's a little bit unsuring that unsuring purchase, so. I like how it's a uh, compass design. I like how it's it's kind of like a uh, a mechanical uh, focus wheel. So it's that would look like so. But uh, that's pretty much it for the demonstration of this. So um, at this point, so I'm that gay. Let you people. Go. This video might be slightly longer, being I had to, uh, being I have brain fart of it did have that, so I end up took me, uh, took me a while to find a disposal, or I was running around, so I didn't think about grabbing a USB powered battery pack. So I ended up wasting my whole afternoon just finding disposal batteries, so... But other than that, I really don't mind it. Uh, you know, it's a little bit unsuring un uh, that if it fits the default of this or if it's my camera, so... But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for this uh, cinematic uh, USB, so... 
Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for taking your time out of your day of watching my video. So, feel free to check out other video. But if you just randomly click on my video. And if you don't know how to, um, look at, below the video. And below the video, there should be a, a notes section below the video. And in there... In the notes section, there should be a link to the video gallery that I've created. So it should redirect you over to the video gallery so you can check that out. Um, but if you do want to follow me and if you're interested in supporting the YouTube channel, I do have a homepage. So bottom corner of the video, one of the side of the bottom corner of the video, it should be my username, my contact room. And there should be uh, a photo of my face, so, um, so you should be able to click that username, which is a default link by YouTube, so I only created that link for the video gallery in the note, but YouTube made a special link for me, so you can go to my YouTube homepage, and that way you can follow me so I do have uh, some social link and I do have a support button which is a PayPal donation button but if you don't if you don't if you, if you can't use PayPal or if you, if you don't want to I do have another direction if you do uh, follow along long or so but anybody who don't mind I don't push anybody to donate a huge amount, so a small amount goes a long way for the YouTube channel. But anybody who uh, uh, who uh, did support the donation button, feel free to leave a note out if you want a shout out, or feel free to leave a contact information if you're more interested in me reaching out and ask you if you want a shout out or not. Uh, then, once you're done checking out my favorite videos and checking out stuff on my YouTube homepage, if you want to still visit the video gallery, the to the video tab and the video tab will be directly the same as the link in the video notes, so, um, and if the video caught your interest, or if the video, or if you want to check out the video, and if if it did interest in you, feel free to subscribe, if it did. And if you enable the bell the notification, do make sure you do have the setting on correctly too, because if you don't, you receive no bell notification if you don't have the setting on correctly. So, um, then give the video a like or dislike, whatever you feel like. Uh, then... Check out the video notes below the video. Click on show more because if you don't, all you see is a link to the video gallery. But if you did click on show more, there is a, a channel email address if you need to reach me. Amazon wish list. I'm going to say similar thing like PayPal. You don't have to buy the most expensive item to support the YouTube channel or whatever is the cheapest will go a long way for the YouTube channel and if you did you get the same uh, option or same shout out option as PayPal so let me know if you want a shout out or not so let me know then uh, community detective form so if you want to say hi to me feel free to say hi to me then uh, if you or if you have any conversational comment or anything positive, feel free to post it below the video and I will catch you next time.